What does the media mean by the Francis effect? Is the Pope really running off at the mouth with heretical and modernist ideas? Is he becoming the hope and change Pope? Maybe there's more to this Francis effect than the media is letting on. We'll explore the stories you aren't being told this week live on mic Up. The Francis effect is certainly real, but it may not have anything to do with Pope Francis. We go live this Wednesday, March 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Today, Pope Francis announced a, quote, special moment of penance this Friday and Saturday called 24 Hours for the Lord, taking place in churches around Rome, including St. Peter's Basilica, and in churches around the world. This festival of forgiveness, as he called it, starts with a celebration in St. Peter's on Friday afternoon, and in the evening, some churches in the center of Rome will open for confession and prayer. Our Holy Father said, quote, we must celebrate the forgiveness the Lord gives us, and did, as did the father in the parable of the prodigal son, who, when the latter returned, organized a party, putting out of his mind all the things the son had done." End quote. Cardinal Raymond Burke, head of the Prefect of the Supreme Tribunal of the Apostolic Signatura, the highest court in the Vatican, told Polonia Christiana magazine that, quote, "...the policies of the President of the United States have become progressively more hostile towards Christian civilization." that Obama appears to be a totally secularized man who aggressively promotes anti-life and anti-family policies." End quote. To read the entire interview translated from Polish to English by LifeSite News, please visit our resource page. A second grade student in North Carolina recently had her writing assignment rejected by her teacher because the little girl wrote about her hero, Jesus Christ. The school is denying the allegations, claiming it never restricted the eight-year-old girl from selecting who she'd like to write about. The child's mother says her child's First Amendment rights have been violated, and while she has met with both the teacher and the principal, the issue remains unresolved. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the father wound. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Hi there, churchmilitant.tv supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilton.tv. God love you.